Okay, welcome back, and thanks for coming back to DennisRC.com. Uh, made a number of changes. Um, the body of the uh, heli is uh, fully painted, uh, buffed out, detailed, etc. Um, so, what else have we done? We've uh, reassembled the tail mechanism here. And uh, these beautiful stainless steel um, exhausts. Uh, colored blue by uh, Brian and his uh, trusty uh, oxyacetylene torch. Turns out to get the blue on stainless steel, you want to blast it with air as it, as it transitions from uh, yellow to, uh, to orange. Uh, holding it on, we're using uh, maybe some of that epoxy putty to make standoffs. I'm not sure, it doesn't look real bright. But uh, we've got some standoffs, there's three of them on either side that uh, uh, are holding that uh, away. Uh, for, and suspending the the uh, tubes at the exact angle we want. Inside the tubes, uh, black, uh, ultra flat black, uh, Cryline Camo, which is a really, really durable finish, and uh, four layers of that um, uh, Vario, that, that uh, really killer 3D Vario mesh that we've had anodized. Uh, on all the, the vents, we've got the two layer, and here, over here on the top, come around the side of the shop here, over here on the doghouse, uh, again we've got the uh, uh, the two layer uh, mesh on all the vents, and then on the intakes, again for opacity's sake, uh, the four layer. So uh, that's what we've got going there. Uh, in addition, uh, as you can see, we've uh, mounted the uh, that uh, retractable landing light, that beautiful one from Helifactory.ch, um, and. Uh, I <laughs> finished reinstalling the, the pneumatics uh, this time. Uh, don't know if, we, if we're going to be able to focus on this, but but here and here are actual working. I uh, just it's sort of setting there, but here and here are actual working pressure gauges. So we're going to uh, one of them is currently reading about uh, about 80 pounds. Uh, when we extend the guns, you can see the other one. You see it rise and then drop back down. So one is showing uh, tank pressure, the other one is showing um, uh, gun deployment pressure. So that's uh, what we have going there. And then also we've uh, installed the uh, the ADF pod, and it uh, it rotates uh, opposite of the rudder and uh, through a slowdown uh, cable or device box, whatever you want to call it. Um, as, you know, as, as you're flying along, it's gonna, it's gonna be doing a little bit of this. Oh, you know, let's show it instead of the carpet. Uh, it's gonna be doing a little bit of this as you're flying. Uh, but but uh, instead of turning into, it's gonna be turning away from. We're gonna see how that looks. We can always remove the, uh, uh, the reverser if it looks if it if it appears that in flight, uh, it looks like it looks better uh, with the. Um, Cannons turning with the aircraft versus against the aircraft. So that's just something we're, that we're going to experiment with in flight. Um, and then again, uh, let's see if we can get some throw some light on the subject here. We've got uh, <coughs> we installed those uh, those really nice. There we go. We've installed those really nice uh, uh, turbine intakes that used to be in a former life part of a centrifugal fan out of a computer. So, uh, and the first of the lights uh, is in there. And also, uh, we haven't hooked it up to power yet, but uh, in the ceiling, there is another electrical panel with uh, like 28 LEDs in it. Uh, that actually comes out of, oh, I'm gonna have to look it up. Oh, uh, SSM Helitechnik in uh, out of Germany, I believe. Uh, beautifully done panel, and it was just right for that, uh, uh, that overhead. And uh, so I, I just went ahead and uh, went with theirs instead of fabricating an, uh, my own from scratch. And uh, we also manufacture just to save, when the glass is in there, I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to hook my finger in here like this, and obviously this, this little resin handle is not up to the task of breaking the, the bond of the magnets, which are strong enough to keep the door closed in flight. So we got these, we machine these beautiful little, almost look like jewels, these beautiful little handles here for manually opening and closing the doors. Um, not exactly scale, no, but um, uh, necessary. It's a, it's a necessary uh, 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 component to uh, keep, 
keeping my door handles from uh, being ripped off. I had a previous model that uh, has had its door handles glued on about five or six times, so uh, that's not going to happen anymore. Um, and so, actually, what we're going to do is see if we can focus on that on those gauges here or not. Uh, doesn't look like the autofocus is going to hack that, but um, we're going to leave this, uh, mark the pressure, and wait uh, wait three or four days and make sure that uh, we haven't lost any pressure. Uh, last time it uh, maintained pressure through my uh, one month long uh, uh, vacation to the hospital, so um, let's hope it's as airtight now as it was before. Anyway, thanks and have a uh, uh, great time watching DennisRC.com.